Okay, so let's do this video to just record our thoughts on this matter because you know we're both pretty, um, you know, blown away by what's going on in many ways, right? Mm -hmm. So this first is this very fascinating and very disheartening video of a series that we watched called Making a Murderer, right? Um, now, you know, most people who, who watch this, many people who watch this will say, oh, I, I know that, how come you guys didn't know about it? And yeah, we didn't know about it. I didn't know about it because a lot of stuff was going on in my life at that time. And I didn't, I wasn't thinking up a lot of much of the you know, US news. Um, but, you know, hey, for that matter, how many of you know about the other thing that everybody knew about, the Bell Island Bridge disaster, in, or the murder in 1995? Um, you know, anyway, the point is that both those incidents show how we are all left gaping and when the worst kinds of atrocities go on around us and we have no idea what to do. But this one was worse what the police have done and, and the absolute, it, to me at least, it seemed very much that there was some kind of cover up at least, right? Or to me, it, it was a very egregious kind of a situation. Um, and that's what's going on in, in what these guys are trying to do to me. You know, like this, we put on the, your Facebook thing, we put on that $700,000 bill. And then when the call is made to them, you know, say like, you know, the $700,000, they get this all surprised. You put that call out there, you know, they're surprised, oh, 700000 it seems to me it could be maybe seven thousand dollars, but they are trying to claim. They will try to claim because they haven't responded to that email about uh, uh, a week ago. Um, they, they're going to claim that it was a clerical error, right? And that's not a clerical error. You think about what what they've done here is they have destroyed my credit completely. You know they meant to do that, right? Now the good point, good news here is that I'm not depending on that credit anymore. I know, uh, you know, what people are going to try to, uh, you know mess with me. But at the same time, I'm paying out eight of the eight hundred and fifty dollars I get per month in pension payment. I pay two hundred and eighty dollars for my credit card, which is you know went over the limit so I can't use it anymore. Right? So you get a little bit of assistance occasionally. And you know between us we can make making do with very little but you know the fact of the matter is there are people who live on less than five hundred dollars a month, you know, uh, Canadian, whatever. So yeah, we, we will manage. We, we were somehow, you know, uh, managing to get this, but it just blows me away to think of how they could make a, a, a supposed, supposed error like that, mm -hmm. right? So I do believe there's something very purposeful about this. You know, just like, you know, we go back to all the things that we've had, when they refuse to let me uh, testify mm -hmm. by, on, um, by, on, on video link, right? When is it now that, you know, practically the world over, you know? And I'm saying, I know what I went through. I know the assault this guy carried out on me, you know? And yet you guys are what, you know, you just dismiss the case just like that? Now this, of course, I, I, we've talked about the fact that there seems to be absolute collusion with the um, police, uh, between the police and the people who are perpetrating these things, you know, the, the, the child trafficking, etc., sex trafficking, right? And now this is where, you know, we, I told you to go check out um, Jimmy Savile and, and Jeffrey Epstein, mm -hmm. right? And it, 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 this is why these people get away with child trafficking, because you just pay the police, basically. You pay the police, and this is, you don't have to pay the individual police members, no, no doubt about it. It's the higher-ups who completely, uh, you know, make sure that, they make sure that nothing is investigated. Right. Or that it, it's or there's not enough proof. There's no proof. There's no evidence. That's it. It gets dismissed over and over again. Yeah. You look at this this TV thing, we're making a murder, and the other one we watched, which was uh, "Don't Fuck with Cats," mm. which is another one in Canada where people, well, the police were warned, this is going to be a big tragedy. Somebody's going to die. Yeah. And now look oh, at the case that we're involved with. Yeah. The cases we're involved with. They have, when people have already died. Yeah. People have already died. Right? And, you know, since the time we started trying to push this out, you know, like, for instance, in the situation where that guy, Billy, that I had the encounter with, you make sure yeah, you put that, that was, uh, video up again, you know. Motel showdown number two. Yeah, motel showdown. Where he came at me in the camera, that yeah, dude, yeah. that dude. Yeah, if, 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 you know, if you look up on the balcony, 
Yeah. Uh, the fair-haired lady, the, yeah. the, the fair skinned lady up there is Micah, mm -hmm. right? And Micah is the one who died Micah barely died. a few months, September. Six, seven months later. Last September. Right? Yeah. And she's the one who, at the age of 16, was taken in by Billy and hooked mm -hmm. on methamphetamines. At 16. 16. Taken yeah. in by a late 40s, 47. Yeah, he was 53 at the time of that video. Of the video, yeah. Yeah. And she's 23, and she dies at the age of 23. Yeah. And this lady that we are trying to help is now the girlfriend of this guy who we argued with. Who was best friends with Micah. Who, who, no, no, no. Who, she, she, she was best, she, yeah, best yeah. friends with Micah. Yeah. And she was trying to help Micah get away from this guy. And that's when this guy goes reports her to the police yeah. for, her, for an old violation, and she gets to go to prison for, you know, yeah. for a few months. And then he gets her out. Yeah. Now, this is the low life. The kind of low life that they're protecting. Now, how come? How come? Right? And you know, the, the situation with, with um, Jimmy Savile, for instance, you know, you see, this is a rich guy. Yeah. And he gets away with this whole He wrote life. it. He admitted, if you look in the, at least from what I was reading about him, he admitted in his book in 1974 that he had had sexual relations, like, uh, 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 he had sexually abused people and minors. He, he wrote it down. Yeah. He admitted it. I have had sexual relations with minors, apparently. This is what I was reading. Yeah, this is crazy. And it was, oh, it was overlooked. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gloating at the end of the day. Now, this person that we are trying to help, we said that her child at the time, that she, she was pressed into prostitution, her child. I mean, herself, she was also pressed into prostitution, no doubt. But prostitution here is allowed. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Fair enough. You know, it's a choice you make as an adult. Right? As an adult. Yeah. But... Your child, no, right? <laughs> that, that's our question. And now, uh, you know, the, the thing is, you know, I, I know, I accept, and I think you also accept, you know, that she is the victim in this case. She and her whole family, given all they have to have something on her. There's yeah. something that they have on her because she wouldn't be lying like this. She wouldn't be going to these extents to protect people who are at, at least indirectly, if not directly, involved with the murders of her two closest friends. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is that she has also basically, you know, helped what, to take the carpet out from under our feet. We have no money, we have no credibility, because she goes on saying, oh no, no, nothing, nothing happened, you know. Now the point in the end, she, now she's trying to convince people around that she's pregnant, right? Now I, maybe she's pregnant, mm -hmm. maybe she's pregnant, and you know, at uh, Billy's hands they say, yeah, at the age of 40, know, to get birth at the age, age of 40. Yeah, fair yeah. enough, yeah. And some people are pregnant at the age of 40, it's all right. But the point is, we have discussed this. I, and I don't believe at, at all that it's she who's pregnant, but she could be, she could be. I believe it's her daughter, her teenage daughter, who was pregnant last year apparently, and then suddenly was not pregnant. So I don't know, was there well, abortion, was there miscarriage, I don't know what happened. Again, she said it was hers again, and then okay. all of a sudden yeah. there's no pregnancy. Right, she there's said. pregnancy, and then there's no pregnancy, and now there is again, so. Yeah, and I do believe that that's not her pregnancy, but her daughter, who's now probably 19, and is entitled to be pregnant, no doubt. You know, but the wrong way at some level, right? Yeah. Anyway, I, I just don't want any of your relatives, like your mom or anything, to be fooled by this situation. Well, that's that's the thing. It's now that she, because she needs people to get ready, like you said, get ready for a new baby. And now she's using my mom to corroborate the story. If she just goes, oh, congratulations, yeah. you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. Then, oh, okay, it's your baby. No questions asked. Yeah. So baby, you and with this... This guy, I, I don't see it. Yeah, but again, you know, things have happened beyond, you know, the, the, what is believable. Uh, yeah, that's true. No, no doubt that's about true. that. But I would at least like to ascertain whether or not it's her pregnancy or her daughter's pregnancy. And are they going to then say that, oh, it's my child, and you know, leave the daughter free to, you know, whatever. Then you don't have to, uh, it's your sister now, as opposed to your Yeah, kid, exactly. You know? yeah. Now that kind of... Uh, Deception used to occur, you know, a long time. Yeah, it and it still occurs, but it's not, not in civilized society, yeah. right? That's as far as I'm concerned. Right? And when the child is just the child of prostitution, then. Yeah. Anyway, it could be that the yeah, child of prostitution. Yeah, Again, yeah, that's, be. Without us jumping to conclusions, yeah. I know that if your mom is not able to ascertain this or you know, meet with her to find out if this is indeed the case, I know I'm going to at least write, you know, we will write a, a, a child services in Manitoba to say at least investigate this situation. You know, because there's a misrepresentation going on which could affect the other two minor children that live with her. Right? Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, they were living all four of them in one hotel room for the longest time, and then I think they in a place to... where the first night they spent there, a dude was eaten to death by his own dogs. The first night that they spent there, yeah, yeah, in the parking lot, he was and then the arson, which they, I believe, was done purposely to get you know to smoke them out and to then start manipulating them. Anyway, the thing is, we have a list. We've drawn up yeah. of all the warning signs. It's like you know, signs. don't fuck with cats. There were all the warning signs. There were warning signs of you know, even in this other video, the making of murder, which we recommend to anybody yeah. who hasn't watched yeah. it. Um, and um, we've got this list of warning signs, including the deaths of people, disappearances of people, uh, death, death of uh, the suicide of Billy's daughter, and the. Uh, attempted suicide of his granddaughter after that, yeah. while she was in his charge. I mean, these are at least warning signs. I mean, you know, that's why I'd like at least your mom to be able to recognize to some extent that look, we we do we're not making up any of this stuff. No, right? it's right there. Yeah, for anyone to see. And the cops say, oh, there's no proof. Yeah, no, there's none of evidence. No. Yeah. Oh officer, no, it's a, yeah. yeah. Remember Officer Welsh who came in afterwards, and he says he told me tells me that I'm dis I'm. Biased, but I'm racist against white people. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, no, I can't remember if that was before or after he said, Oh, Billy's a good guy, he's never been yeah. arrested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a good guy, he's never been arrested. Yeah, 53 years old. I wish I So I, I think Billy's responsible for the death of Fika that occurred in September. Nobody's taking responsibility. There was supposed to be a, a natural death. Yeah, all right. yeah. There's nothing questionable about it. Yeah, anyway. Anything else that you think we need to display or uh, put out there? Um, it's just all the lies, that list that we've created of all these yeah, lies. Yeah, we, we would have to post and that now she's And she's like, oh no, there's nothing. There's, yeah, there's yeah. nothing. Oh, why, are, why are we friends? With your mom? She's so like, you admit, you, you lied yeah. outright and then directly admitted, yeah. to me at least, that you're a prostitute. Yeah. And then acts like you didn't. Yeah, and we said her daughter was a prostitute. She vehemently you know, uh, denied that. And now she wants to be friends with us again, mm -hmm. in spite of that? That has seemed a bit odd to me. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Or at least with you. I mean, she knows that I'm not taking any of her shit at all. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Let's just talk the video right now. Okay, okay. thank you.